Yeah, absolutely. I always look the same way. <laughs> Good morning to you. D. Martez here. Welcome to D. Martez Presents Coeds. It's Monday, August the 5th, 2013, and I'm here with Angela and special guest. Well, you're not a guest. You've been here before. Yeah, I'm like a stay-at-home mom <laughs> with this Coeds. That's what I am. Comedian Howard Hall. Howard, thanks. Who is funny? No Who is uh, funny? Yeah, here we go. I ain't <laughs> well, as you see, Shanna and Brian are not here today. They have the day off. Yeah. So, if this is your first time watching Coeds, we give you the latest in entertainment news in a very funny way, extra funny, because yeah. we have Howard Hall today. So, today we're going to talk about uh, Riley Cooper, suspended from the Philadelphia Eagles, mm -hmm. and uh, he's supposed to seek counseling. We'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Also, Raven Simone is gay. <laughs> shut the front door. Raven Simone. You mean shut the back door. <laughs> is what? gay. Also, Nick Cannon writes an open letter to Amanda Bynes. Yeah, somebody needs to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keisha Cole blames BET for her reality show not returning. <laughs> and uh, Simon Cowell. Yeah, good old Simon. Uh, slept with his best friend's wife and she's yeah. about 10 weeks pregnant. Go uh -huh. ahead. So, yeah, all of that and more right here on D. Martez for this co-ed. And we're going to talk to Howard Hall about a big event that yeah, you have this week. Huge, huge, huge event. So first, celebrity birthdays. Uh, Megan Good, uh, her birthday is not today. It's actually Thursday, August the 8th. She's cute. Yeah, and on Friday, Deion Sanders' birthday. Yeah. And if alive, Whitney Houston. Oh, yeah, her birthday is Friday. Birthday, love man. Whitney Houston. Always love, Whitney love Houston. you. Always I love, love you, girl. Yeah, yeah. Always, we'll always love, love you. Exactly. You want to sing for him, Angela? You want to do a few little... Yeah, just a little something. You know, you got it in there. Don't, Don't hurt yourself. And I will always love you. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. I'm yeah. hot. That's pretty See good. the sweat? Wow. That was that was pretty, pretty hot. Good. All right, let's get right to it. The entertainment news. So Keisha Cole is blaming BET for uh, her reality show not returning. She She's sad. saying that they haven't paid her and her husband from season one. Mm. Now you know they had that reality show Family First. This is supposed to be the second season. So she's saying that she hasn't been paid for the first season, and so what? Her show is now canceled. Thank is you. That? Right. That exactly. Like you just got canceled. You just got canceled. Now you know her husband was down in uh, New Orleans for uh, Essence, Essence Fest got and got just, arrested. Yes, yeah, got I got heard that. I didn't scuffle. know if got that into was a little true. Scuffle. I'll fight if I have another NBA contract. <laughs> Anybody, for some anybody right for some money so that's what's up with Keisha Cole you know oh. I've heard that BET is the place you go you know and your dreams fail what you, program you, well yeah. reality shows if you don't have no mess going on you're not gonna stay on TV no, right not. strictly right and that. she she living too good and so happy I don't like that right now <laughs> Neffy Neffy and her mama that's they a reality they show they would have nine years yes. <laughs> right, that before, mom. The, before the first episode. Exactly. Yeah. I watched yeah. that show. Yeah, yeah it could have been called Frankie and Nim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that. Right. So, Riley Cooper, suspended from the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, has to seek counsel. Now, he's a 25 year old wide receiver uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles. On Friday, August 1st, the Eagles announced via Twitter that he was excused from all team activities uh, to seek counseling for his recent actions. So, if you're wondering mm -hmm. what happened, well, he used a racial slur at a country music concert. What? So he basically flashed out mm -hmm. on a black security guard uh, who would not let him backstage. Oh. Uh, he said, and I quote, I'll fight every nigga in here. <laughs> so what somebody, is it with these? What is it with he, everybody wanting to use the end? He meant that. Yeah, he, I can he tell really the way he said right. that he meant that. Um, it, it was all up in here. All in his chest. It I've was. said that before, but right. I didn't really mean it. <laughs> I meant the fight part. I didn't really care about the N word part, but he really meant, he meant it. it. And of course, somebody was there with their camera phone and they videoed it and put it on YouTube. Oh. Um, but. Uh, he was fined an undisclosed amount. Uh, he apologized, but now he the should. Eagles want to ask him to seek counseling. So what I want to ask, is this too much? Like, do you really need to seek counseling for using the N-word? No, you don't. I, don't think I so. agree. I don't think you need counseling. I think that it is a, it's how you have been raised. And unfortunately, if that's your viewpoint, you don't need counseling. You need a change of mind. Right. You need to change how you view people. I mean, that's just racist. And yeah. there's no other way to look at that. I don't think that racism calls for counseling. I think it calls to, 
you need to be educated. It calls for education right. as opposed to counseling. But we all use racial slurs. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they act like this man don't say nigga I, in his shower. He does. <laughs> well, right. This he isn't like just, he I'm just not. didn't just he, think of Yeah, it. he didn't right. just say, what's the great word that I can say? I want to fight all of those and said it. No. Right. That's been in his spirit. <laughs> right. it's in deep him. down. Deep, deep down. down. It's in his spirit. And, and you know, and I might get some, you know, backlash for this, but it's just like, you know, We've said before, you know, let's go to the Ching Chang store. Yes. Oh, that's true. See, it's just and being, you, it's right. being, tr- we've said it. Right. So. And so, and, and that's another thing, like I, you know, we become so offended when we are called out of our name. Um, but so often they'll say, girl, I'm going to them chains to get my nails done. I mean, that's, right. that's, that's, that's a racial thing. slur. That's very it's offensive to thing. people. So yeah. I think that we have to, you know, you know, it goes back to the Bible for me, honey. <laughs> but you got to do what the word says. You know, you treat people in the manner that you want to be, be treated. treated. The world is round. And so what goes around comes around. Whatsoever man soweth, mm-hmm. that shall he also reap. We about to shout so, out on a Monday morning. I'm just saying, honey, you know church was good yesterday, love. <laughs> so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the devil. You let them Asians rise up and start start going off when y'all call right, them change. Right. It's going to be a it's change. Be. <laughs> Got a first Asian president. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, Nick Cannon writes this open letter to Amanda Bynes. Thank God. Okay, yeah. So, um, out of control. Yeah, he posted on his website on Wednesday. He talks about how the media is poking fun at Amanda, and it's <laughs> not a laughing matter. Uh, he, and he's become upset. He says, so I say to my sister Amanda Bynes, you're not alone. I'm here for you. I understand. I care and appreciate you because that's what family does. That's what family is for. When did they become family? Well, they was on the show together. They were on all that for like three, four years. Is that like a Disney show? Nickelodeon. 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 That's right. The show was. And uh, Nick goes on to say, I also extend this to anyone else in my life, past or present, that may find themselves uh, in hard times. I'm here. Call me. Because I truly believe that the hand you're helping today may be the one you're reaching for tomorrow. Hmm. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Amanda is out of control. She is completely out of control. And I think that's good of Nick. um, Because unfortunately, when you're in the public eye, I mean, it's like us. People are going to say, oh, she has on too much makeup. She doesn't have on enough makeup. She should have combed her hair better. That's an ugly outfit. I mean, when you put yourself... (laughs) When you put yourself in the eyes of the public, you can just expect that. And and I think so many times, as her being a young young person um i think that it may be a a problem that she has not truly been able to develop as a person because she's developed around people so she's had an image to develop Mm -hmm. and right and not really evolve as a person and so she's she's acting out but honey yeah she i'm glad nick is willing to help her because honey i don't know many (laughs) other people that are she is on the deep end i think she needs to just go ahead Look at her life. Like, see, this is the problem. They got right, they they right. set for life for what they did when they was twelve right. and eleven years right, old. Right, People right. ain't ready for that. They got to struggle like we have. Right. <laughs> All the way up to the age of thirty, and then we get money and we good. Right. If only they struggled about fifteen years, right. they would have been straight. Because I ain't right. never seen any like black. Uh, if you notice from uh, like black stars from Disney or or Nickelodeon fall off. You're right. Not yet. Um, if yeah. you think, I hope like I'm gonna do some good. research. I haven't seen none. Yeah, they yeah. doing pretty, Raven's doing pretty well for herself. Oh, yeah, yeah, she well. is. Yeah. Okay. More Raven news in just a moment. Oh. Um, but uh, another side note for Nick Cannon: Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous is in production this oh, fall. What? Yeah, coming back on the air on the Style mm-hmm. Network, and Nick Cannon is the host, and he will be producing. Oh, yeah, he what is, happened to the guy with the, vo- the Robin uh, Leach? Robin Leach. Yes. Robin like Leach him. is on a breathing machine as we speak. Baby, wow. he I'm won't be doing. Oh, no, okay. no, no, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Like, it's he, the, he, he's no he longer with us. You no, know, Robin Leach is he's still somewhere talking. He okay. has a great voice. So what about Raven Simone? As you do, just as you do. Uh, just as I do. Thank yes. you. What about Raven? Yeah, Raven Simone, uh, it's official. She's um she's gay. And she tweeted this. Um it's okay, Howard. Just look. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. No, that, that was somebody's my look. <laughs> But uh, she tweeted that she said, I can finally get married. Uh, Yay, government. So proud of you. And that was in the wake of uh, Minnesota legalizing Mm -hmm. gay marriage. Marriage. And Mm -hmm. she came out. Now, she did say that don't expect her to get married anytime soon because she's not getting married. But she's glad now that she has has the the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. So what do we think about it? 
Raven Simone. I have okay. no words right now. You're still Because I still thought I had it. Well, is, is she bi? Is it, is it bi? Oh, she, I, she, I don't know. She maybe bipolar, that. but. <laughs> she just, she has, yeah, always okay. thought I had a chance. Yeah, yeah. So, what were you going to do with Sean? Sean was going to be there with us. <laughs> you know, Sean has a better chance at this point than you do. That's true. That's true. That's you need to get wife. on it, wife. That's Howard's wife. And she's beautiful, not a ass. Yeah, she's so. to get on it. Now, now we got to refocus, baby. <laughs> Refocus, <laughs> Raven. You know. Yeah. Oh. So, do we think this is gonna help Raven's career? Is it gonna hurt it? Her career does not need help. Yeah. That's yeah. so Raven has made over four hundred million dollars. Yes. <laughs> Tell she me where is. she's unsuccessful. Right. right. And and the, the thing about Raven uh, Simone is that um, not only is she she beautiful, but she went from being Olivia on what was the Cosby uh, show. show, and she went straight into the Disney Channel and has done extremely well. Yes. Um, and you know you don't really hear any negativity about her per se, uh-huh. except uh, if you want to consider this to be a negative aspect. You know you hear you've heard before, I, at least I have, that you know the possibility existed that she was gay, and I, you know society is acceptable to that now. So yeah. I don't think it's going to hurt her career at all. Um, I give it a boost. I, yeah, and I say you know a, a, a good hand clap for you, Raven. You're not ashamed or afraid of who you are. So. You know, hats off to you, sweetheart. Good luck. And we still holding on. Me and my wife. <laughs> you and your wife. We holding on, Ray. Ooh, a threesome on a Monday Ooh. morning. Actually, a foursome. Me, her, my wife, and her money. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Oh, Lord, it's hot. Yeah, he's giving it away. Yeah. The money will money do it. The money will do it. So, uh, Simon Cowell from American Idol, you know, he used to be the host of that. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And he also produces X Factor. Well, uh, he's more than a judge. He's more than a producer. He likes to bang his best friend's wife. Woo! Yeah. That's gold. Yeah, he's impregnated. Uh, Her name is Lauren uh, Silverman. She's a New York socialite. Now, she's 36 years old. Simon's best friend is Andrew Silverman, real estate uh, real estate tycoon. He's yeah. 37. Keep in mind, Simon is 53. I thought he was years. 78. <laughs> He's 53 <laughs> years old. So Lauren is 10 weeks pregnant, okay? And Lauren and Andrew have a 7-year-old son together. <laughs> now, supposedly... Now, Howard, you probably know a little bit about this. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> not in that. No, not in, wait. Let me finish my statement. Okay. Let me finish my statement. Yes, right. You know, you being know? married and uh, you know, having other married couples as you mm-hmm. know, your friends and you and your wife may go on like you know, double date with other right, couples right, and right. stuff like that. If you have friends, well, this is how this went down with Simon. You know. Um, going out with this married couple mm-hmm. and his best friend and you know they're going out and before you know it like I don't know maybe one time uh, Andrew left the room and it was just Lauren and Simon and um, well yeah, I don't, he I don't blame dead. me leaving the room with another with my wife in there with another man by himself right. it's not about to happen See, so you, you would go. never go use the restroom my wife coming with me would to you? use the bathroom oh Howard <laughs> stop I don't trust these men out here. But you have to trust her. I trust Raven. <laughs> <laughs> right. But supposedly that's how it, you know, it, it went just, down and they started, foul. you know, it's hooking up. Like that's often? Foul. They hooked up often? Just often. like a one time No, no. That's foul. Yeah. So. That is foul. <laughs> yeah, keep saying it. It, it is. It is. That is the horrible. Is, I is will cross still... a church pew and whip a woman's butt trying to mess with my man. <laughs> a church when I, pew. Because it's always the church women. It's always y'all church women. Oh, it's uh, always messing with your man, honey. The okay. question is, are they still together? Well, supposedly yeah, they're question. filing for divorce. Thank and they um, should, they Andrew, should. but before all of this, Andrew and Lauren's relationship was like really, really rocky and okay. dysfunctional. Well, and she wanted a way out. And she could have been confiding in Simon. And but, did she always have that issue? Which is Simon. an issue of liking other penises? <laughs> did she always wow. have that? Wow. See, I, I that's just. See, am I it's right? Foul. It's yeah. Just, yeah. It's just. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So Simon uh, was wrong. Lauren was wrong. Andrew, honey, I hope you find out. I mean, a Unless, hot, loving this woman. Andrew has something on the side. You which is a possibility. Oh, Andrew, now, supposedly they were, you know, not together at the time. So oh. here's a question. Okay. Is it okay to date your friend's ex? Absolutely not. No. Never? Never. Under no Never. circumstances. Under no circumstances. No. Why? It makes for an odd family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> and that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. No, so Angela, I know. just feel like if my friend has been with someone, they're off limits to me. Yeah, that's it. it's too many people on this planet 
for me to focus on two people that's in front of me. I mean, why does it have to be somebody that my friend has been with? True. Right. Or use I mean, goods. I mean, use, use that's good. Use goods. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I just, I, I just couldn't do that. I mean, even if you know, even if she was no longer my friend, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want it to be that situation. I just think, you know, I just think there's a fine line, and I wouldn't want to cross it. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? And some people they tell their friends too much of their sexual business. Yeah. yeah. Like they'll get on the phone and like. Girl, let me tell you how it just went down with me. Let me tell me. you what he like. Let me tell you what he wants. Right. Because she's going to try that. Right. What, what you don't do again? Right. Boy, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. All right. So um, mm-hmm. the reason why this funny man is here, yeah. we love Howard Hall. Uh, so who Howard, is funny? Who is, who is funny? So Howard, tell us what do you have coming up oh, man. later this I got, month? I got a couple things coming up. Okay. Uh, let's say August 10th, I will be in New Orleans. Uh, at the Civic Theater, uh, oh. performing for Miller Light for the Miller Light Stand Up is Miller Time contest. Oh, cool. Representing Baton Rouge. Yes, so yes, yes. About. Um, mm-hmm. And then August twenty fourth. This is real good. Uh, I will be at the Bella Baton Rouge Casino Atrium for the Laugh Therapy Airs to the Tour Comedy Show. Myself, Robert Powell, Ao, and Carissa Cropper. And on that same night. I was about to drop my DVD, but I got some more news. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I might just have a deal. Wait! Oh, stop! Wait, you heard it here first, right here on Coeds. A deal. A deal. Yes. Like a deal when where can you, you release? get it in stores ah. across I'm the nation. It. I'm oh, loving that's it. what's up. That's what's yes, up. Yes, I am really, loving it. Really, really I'm this close funny. from changing my number. <laughs> <laughs> I will hunt I'm you down there, like a dog. I know, I know. So I that's the atrium. Uh, what time? Atrium it, doors open up at seven. Show starts at about eight, maybe eight thirty. Uh, please get your tickets. Uh, I think it's called www.laughtherapy.eventbrite.com. Mm-hmm. Or you can just go to my Facebook, Twitter, mm-hmm. uh, or Instagram. You will see it all over the place. Or dmartez.com because yeah, I don't have it right here. Dmartez.com. And I'm gonna give these people. Uh, uh, you know something? If you type in hilarious at Showtime, you'll get a discount on your ticket price. Now that's what? hilarious. Right? Hilarious. Hilarious. H a l l a r i o u s. Hey, that works. We I love, love it. it. We love it. We ought to be there. Let's go Let's to the Let's go. Y'all yeah. already was invited. Oh, oh yeah. Well, there you have it. Yeah. Boom. He doesn't now. invite me many places. I only go because his wife allows me to. He and and me she anywhere. crosses over church pews. I can't I get it. I will it's cross church. a church pew. Okay, Angela. <laughs> On a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, thanks again for no being problem. here. We really no appreciate it. We got to have Howard like once a month. We do. Just for comic relief. Yeah. I might just, you know, bust in in the middle of the program. What? What? Exactly. <laughs> Nothing. I don't care who y'all got invited that day. It'd be an extra seat. <laughs> right. Well, we hope you enjoyed DeMartez Presents co every Monday, 6 a.m. right here on DeMartez.com. Enjoy your week. Remember to be nice to people. You know, say a kind word to somebody. Make them laugh. You know, all the hate, just leave it at the door. Shake them haters off. Yeah, it ain't worth it. Write, right. write a letter like Nick Cannon does. There yeah, you an open letter. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next Monday. Don't forget to listen to the DeMartez Show on Wednesday for Weird News Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I'm DeMartez. This is Angela Hello. and Howard Hall. This has been DeMartez Presents Coen's.